Hey beauties, welcome to my video. I keep wanting to say my channel because that's what I say on my channel every single time I film, but this isn't my channel. This is Wayne's channel, so hello Wayne. My name is Mel Thompson for any of you guys who have not seen me before, though you might have because I kind of feel like lightning has struck twice in the most amazing way. Uh, almost a year ago at this point, not quite, but almost a year ago I wanna say, Wayne did a video for me and I bawled my eyes out. I talked to him via FaceTime. If you are a subscriber of mine, you know what happened, how emotional I got and everything. And I'm so grateful to have this opportunity to be on his channel now. It's like I said, lightning struck twice in the most amazing way. I think Wayne is such a great person. Giving back to the community like this is major. There's just not many people who are as genuine and as kind as Wayne. So I just want to say a huge thank you to him before I ever even get into this video. <laughs> but I'm going to try not to rant too much. Again, my name is Mel Thompson. I love red pandas. They are my favorite. This one is Panda Joe. And orchids are one of my favorite flowers. Besides that, I really, really, really love makeup. For my video today, I was trying to think about what I wanted to film for Wayne. <laughs> Not only with my viewers in mind and Wayne's viewers in mind, but I wanted to kind of, you know, maybe make Wayne smile just a little bit. And I thought, I'm going to do a whole list of things that Wayne Goss has made me purchase. <laughs> I have so many things. This is just a small little collection. Wayne has impacted my makeup artistry so much. He definitely has impacted my purchases <laughs> several times. And I thought it would be fun to just sit down and show you guys some of the things that he has definitely made me buy or made me do. And I say made me do for a reason. You will see it. I'm going to start off with one of the products that is the most recent. This is something I knew better than to watch his video. It's kind of like if I don't want to purchase something or if I've made up my mind that I'm not going to purchase an item, I can't watch Wayne's video because my mind will be changed. And I knew this and I watched anyway. The Charlotte Tilbury Darling Palette. All right. It, Wayne, <laughs> you gotta quit with these swatches on your face because they're killing me. They're killing me. They are so cute and so good. And I, yeah, it got me with this. It 100% got me. I specifically talked about not wanting to purchase this palette, not because of Charlotte's quality or anything like that. She has amazing quality. I wanted to wait for this palette. Top drawer status right here making a lot of noise, I know, I'm sorry. My Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette, ugh, I love this. And I knew I wanted to get that one. And I have several other palettes, and these shades are shades that I definitely have in my collection, but you know what, now I've got them in Charlotte's version. This Darling Palette, I wasn't gonna get it, I wasn't gonna get it, I wasn't gonna get it, but then there goes Wayne, just swatching and making the cutest remarks about the shades, making me laugh, and then all of a sudden, adds to cart and clicks check out. I'm not even sure how it happens fully myself, but I'm not disappointed with this. It's such a beautiful palette. I'm really glad that I bought it. I guess you could say the influencer was influenced. <laughs> The next products are skincare related. It's from Paula's Choice. These products aren't necessarily all ones that were specifically talked about by Wayne. However, I heard about Paula's Choice and I heard about him raving about certain products and I got curious. I have several that I have incorporated and more that I want to try. This one right here is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid. This is phenomenal. My daughter even uses this. So good. And then I'm using some of the boosters. This one right here is the peptide booster. There's another one that I want to try. I love these because they're just little droppers and you can just add it in with your current skincare routine. I love that. And then this is my most recent purchase. I've only used this one like four or five days now. I just went through my second Tatcha Silk Peony and I thought, 
I want to try something else, and I really like Paula's Choice, so I grabbed this. It's the Omega Plus Complex Eye Cream. I can't say anything about it right now other than I like the way it feels. It sinks into the skin really nicely, and it wears really well under my makeup. But I want to give this one a shot for like fine lines and stuff like that. When considering trying out a new eye cream, it was pretty instant. I immediately thought of Polish Choice and then I just happened upon this one. But I'll let you guys know on my channel how this works out. Hourglass Blushes. Now this one took just a little bit more than seeing them on camera because I felt like I needed to touch them and see them in person. And I remember the day so vividly because Kelsey and I, Kelsey is my best friend. She's here on YouTube. Kelsey Brianna J. I call her Kelsey Brianna Bay. For anybody who is new, I'm just going to leave that right here. Check her out as well. I saw Wayne raving about these and then I saw them at Sephora with Kelsey and we both went straight for diffused heat. We both left with diffused heat. This is so beautiful. I love, 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 love Hourglass blushes. I love Hourglass in general. I think that they have some of the best powders, best products. They're just amazing. And then this one, I feel like everybody has this one. It's the Mood Exposure. This is one of the more natural ones right here. I feel like this just does not do it justice because I look at that and I question it. I'm like, what is that? But on the skin, it is a beautiful, natural, just gorgeous skin-like flush. Love it so much. And it's not really pink or orangey or anything like that. It's just very, very natural. Here's the one that Wayne made me do. <laughs> I did not always contour my nose. I used to just take bronzer with my huge bronzer brush and just kind of go on the side of it. Didn't really matter. And then I kind of started going up here a little bit. And I wanted to try out cream contour. I just realized, you know, cream contour just isn't my thing. I don't know if it's just that... I don't feel like I have time for it or if I just don't need it. I don't know what it is, but I tried this. How many of you guys watched the video with Wayne and the fork? <laughs> you should have seen me doing this. So Wayne takes the fork and he puts it on his nose. <laughs> I feel so silly even putting this on my face right now. It's a good trick. It does work. It does work. But you put it on there and the center, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you put it on and then flatten it out. And on the center part is where you put the lighter color and then you kind of turn it and then you apply the darker shade, turn it and apply it. The biggest thing with this is a lot of people will take their lines for their contour and just separate them too far. You don't want your contour lines to be down here. It's going to make your nose look much bigger. You want them to be up higher. You want your nose to look pinched if you're going to go through all that work. And he did a fabulous job. I cannot say though that my first try at it uh, went very well. <laughs> Something about the blending did not go well. My second try was much better, but now I just go in and I use whatever to go right on the sides. I still kind of go up a little bit higher and I do highlight my nose. Wayne, I'm sorry. I love to highlight the tip of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> but this gets me every time. I will see a fork and remember him sticking this on his face and me attempting it. This is something I have been raving about for quite a while. I don't even remember how long I've been purchasing Wayne Goss's brushes. And it's not only because of him, because, you know, you see Wayne buffing with this super soft brush on his face and it's just like done. <laughs> Thank you. Give it to me again. Add to cart. Click check out. <laughs> but these are not all the ones that I have, by the way. I have several more, but going through my entire brush collection and trying to pick them out would have been um, nearly impossible. But I gathered a few of them and I just have to tell you, his brushes are so worth it. I have several of his holiday brushes. This is the one from this year. I have his eye sets. My favorite eye set is the eye set. I have several of them in this little container, but a lot of them are dirty. I use my Wayne Goss brushes a lot, especially that set. Then I have things ranging from the Zero Zero brush, some more limited edition brushes. I have his synthetic brushes. I have his face set. Like I have them all and they are amazing. When people ask me about really good quality brushes, Wayne Goss always comes to mind. Now I want to talk about a technique that I learned from Wayne and it's the buffing technique, but I kind of tweaked it a little bit. And I think I did something that 
he kind of says not to do. <laughs> And it is to use a translucent powder. <laughs> I love this though. It happened by accident. I watched him do a buffing technique and he used a powder that was pressed and it had a little bit of color to it. I do like that method. I have been recently using my Urban Decay powder and buffing over everything. But traditionally, this is my favorite go-to buffing powder and it's from Sicily. It's the shade 01 Iris A or Iris A, whatever. I, and it is, it's translucent, so I don't think Wayne approves of this. <laughs> but I love it so much because it will add that filter-like look to my face, but it also adds a glow because this powder has a luminosity to it and it has like micro, micro, tiny little glitters in there. Nothing you can see just in person on the face. You can see a little bit out in the sun, but this powder is amazing. It doesn't dry out my skin. It doesn't make me more oily. Nothing like that. It is so beautiful. And I take this and I will take a brush. After I do all of my makeup, I get a little bit of this on and I go around the edges so I don't have any harsh lines from blush, bronzer, highlight, or anything like that. This technique was definitely inspired by Wayne Goss, but it happened on accident. I remember doing my makeup. Something was not working out right. I remembered his video. For whatever reason, it wasn't this one. I think I was using the original La Mer powder. <sighs> I wanted to fix my makeup, but I didn't want to add any more color. I didn't want to add anything that was going to be cakey or anything like that. So I picked up a brush one day and I did that. And I have been buffing every single day since then. It's my favorite thing in my entire routine because I feel like it's something I can't do without. I absolutely cannot do without buffing. Let's bring it all the way back to products that I wasn't gonna buy, <laughs> but Wayne Goss changed my mind. And again, it's Charlotte Tilbury. It is Charlotte Tilbury. My mind completely just went to the gutter whenever I watched his video. I knew there was a reason why I was not gonna pick this up. I have another one. I love these palettes. I think they're amazing. This is the Instant Look in a Palette, and it's the most recent one. And it's my favorite of all the ones that she has released. She released one with a black down here. This is, I believe this is the original. This is what it looks like right here. <sighs> the only reason I don't grab for this more is because it contains cornstarch. And <laughs> so does her powder, which is very similar to the Sicily powder. So if you want something that's a little bit cheaper, you could totally go that route. It's gore. Just if you're my skin tone, like an NC25, you can use the darker shade as a bronzer, and oh my gosh, it is beautiful. However, a lot of Charlotte's powder products do contain cornstarch or Z Maze. Her loose powder, her pressed powder, these, and her blush, like I got a little blush palette, they contain cornstarch, and that breaks me out. It does not do that to everybody, so I don't wanna deter anyone from buying something that has that in it, Z Maze or cornstarch. I just personally have a sensitivity to it. But the power of Wayne Goss, the power. <laughs> he started talking about this palette, he was putting it on and I just had to have it. I had to have it. I can use these absolutely 100% on my eyes. I don't have any problems. I don't regret it. I don't regret it because I, like I said, this is the best one she has put out and I can absolutely just use all of these on my eyes. All of them work well and I love the colors. This one especially is just so, so good. But it's just proof that when Wayne starts talking about something, I'm like this on my phone. Like, oh, what is that? I need that. I need that. <laughs> the last product is an oldie but a goodie, and it is from Tom Ford. <sighs> I saw him talking about this. I saw him talk about it, I believe, in some type of favorites video. I don't remember. I, I, I do think he talked about it in a favorites video, though. And I saw this. I knew I wanted to try it out. It's the bronzer. I don't believe they make this formula in this size anymore, but they used to have the larger and the smaller. And this one right here is gold dust. Can you see how much I have used? this like it's disgusting <laughs> they also have the ultimate formula I have that as well and I have both of them in gold dust and in Terra I made my way down to Tom Ford I put it on I think I put on Terra I have them both Terra and gold dust and I also have the ultimate formula but this one right here it just 
I bought it immediately. It was so pretty. Even Kelsey, yeah, she was with me again for this purchase. She was like, you need that. Kelsey is the biggest enabler you will ever, ever meet. Just FYI. But yes, this is a purchase I'm very happy with. Anywho, you guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see just some, just some of the things that Wayne Goss has made me buy or made me do. That sounds terrible. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. <laughs> Again, I really want to thank you, Wayne, for giving me this opportunity to be on your channel and for doing this for everybody. It's just like showing the love, showing the support and everything. It's just, it's who you are. It's who you are. This is why we love you. I love you so much. I appreciate you. I hope everybody enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.